The Yuyang Cave System, located in Chongqing Municipality, China, is one of the largest and most extensive cave systems in the country. Its vast network of chambers and tunnels could potentially be repurposed to create a state-of-the-art facility that simulates lunar conditions. This repurposing would not only serve as a groundbreaking scientific endeavor but also as a crucial training ground for future lunar missions. Imagine a facility hidden deep within the Earth, where the main chamber of the Yuyang Cave system could be converted into a lunar simulation environment. This chamber could replicate the low gravity, reduced atmospheric pressure, and unique geological features of the Moon. The sheer scale of the cave system would allow for the creation of multiple modules and training areas, each designed to mimic different aspects of lunar exploration. The stable microclimate within the cave could provide a controlled environment for conducting experiments on the long-term effects of low gravity on human physiology and plant growth. This would be essential for understanding how to sustain human life on the moon and for developing technologies that can support lunar colonization. Moreover, the cave system's extensive network of tunnels and chambers could be used to house laboratories, living quarters, and even spaces for recreational activities all designed to simulate the conditions astronauts might experience on the moon. This would create a realistic training environment for astronauts, allowing them to prepare for the challenges of lunar missions. Space exploration is one of the most challenging and ambitious endeavors undertaken by humanity. It involves overcoming numerous obstacles, from technological and logistical hurdles to environmental and human factors. Here are some of the key challenges faced in space exploration and the importance of finding suitable environments for research. 1. Extreme conditions. Space experiences extreme temperature variations, ranging from minus 270 degrees Celsius in shadow to plus 120 degrees Celsius in sunlight, which can damage sensitive equipment. Exposure to solar and cosmic radiation can be harmful to both human health and electronic systems, requiring robust shielding and protective measures. 2. Resource limitations. Access to water and breathable air is essential for human survival. Efficient systems for life support and resource recycling are crucial. Carrying sufficient food, water, and other supplies over long durations is logistically challenging and resource-intensive. 3. Communication delays. Communication delays due to the vast distances between Earth and other celestial bodies can complicate real-time decision-making and coordination. Transmitting large amounts of data over long distances requires efficient and reliable communication systems. 4. Human factors. Prolonged isolation can lead to psychological stress, depression, and other mental health issues. Prolonged exposure to microgravity can cause bone and muscle loss, increased risk of cardiovascular issues, and other health problems. 5. Technological challenges. Developing reliable and efficient launch vehicles and landing systems is critical for successful missions. Building systems that can withstand the harsh conditions of space and operate reliably over extended periods is essential. 6. Financial and logistical costs. Space missions are extremely expensive, requiring significant funding and resources. Coordinating multiple teams and systems to ensure mission success is complex and time-consuming. Importance of suitable environments for research. 1. Simulation and training. Facilities like the Yuyang Cave System can simulate lunar conditions, allowing for extensive training and testing of equipment and procedures before actual space missions. These environments provide a controlled setting to study the effects of low gravity and other space-related conditions on human physiology and technology. 2. Scientific research. Simulated environments can support long-term studies on the effects of low gravity on human health and plant growth, essential for sustainable space habitation. Testing materials and technologies in controlled environments helps ensure their durability and effectiveness in space. 3. Technological Development. Simulated environments can drive innovation in technology development, such as creating better life support systems and more efficient communication networks. 
These environments provide a platform to test and solve complex problems related to space travel and habitation. 4. Cost-Effectiveness By conducting initial tests and research on Earth, risks can be minimized before committing resources to space missions. Iterative testing and refinement can lead to more efficient and effective space technologies. 5. Psychological Preparation Simulated environments can be used to study the psychological impacts of space travel and develop strategies to mitigate mental health issues. Training in controlled environments helps improve team dynamics and cohesion, crucial for successful space missions. During China's first international conference on space habitation and exploitation, attendees toured a vast underground cave system that Chinese researchers aim to use as a testing ground for lunar and Martian living. Xie Zhengxin from Chongqing University's Center of Space Exploration organized the visit to Yuyang Base, where large-scale, closed cave ecosystem validation research is ongoing. The Yuyang Cave System spans approximately 3,000 meters 9,840 feet, with the widest section measuring 130 meters 427 feet, and the highest point reaching 108 meters 354 feet. In 2019, Xie and his team proposed that the moon's hollow, tube-like caves formed by volcanic activity could be suitable for human habitation and suggested simulating these environments using natural underground spaces on Earth. This idea came after the successful germination of cotton seeds on the moon's far side during the Chang'e 4 lunar landing mission. Xie, who was the chief designer of the moon surface microecological circle, chose cotton, rapeseed, potato, Arabidopsis, rock cress, yeast and fruit flies for the experiment. Future bases on the Moon and Mars will be essential for deep space exploration but pose significant challenges due to extreme environments, including temperature fluctuations, intense radiation, and frequent meteorite impacts. Lunar lava tubes, recently discovered, offer protection from meteorites and radiation while maintaining relatively stable temperatures. If the ceilings are thick enough, they could be pressurized to standard atmospheric levels, making them promising sites for future lunar bases. To advance the necessary technologies on Earth, Xie and his team turned to the karst landscapes in southwestern and southern China, exploring hundreds of caves across Chongqing, Sichuan, Hunan, and Hainan provinces. They focused on caves in Wulong and Yuyang for further design work. Xie stated that major research areas include environment simulation, human-machine interactions, controlled ecosystems, and communication and navigation systems. Construction will largely be carried out by robots, prioritizing the use of resources found on the moon. The team's plan for an extraterrestrial, cave-based habitat involves three phases. Identifying and modifying a suitable lava tube, establishing a cave farm for plants and livestock, and constructing the habitat. Robots will handle tasks like sealing and construction in the lava tube modification phase, integrating smart lighting systems for illumination and energy support. The researchers will reserve a production area in the moon base layout to transform lunar regolith into building materials or planting medium. Once modifications are complete, a cave farm will be established, divided into three key areas, a farming zone for plant cultivation and animal incubation, an equipment area to establish resource cycles using local resources and human waste, and a backyard for plants adapted to low light conditions. The habitat construction phase will focus on optimizing energy systems and residential areas to ensure long-term human survival. Solar power and thermoelectric generation from the moon's surface will provide a stable power supply for system operations, heating, and environmental regulation. The residential area will balance comfort and functionality, providing living, exercise, and research spaces for the crew. As deep space exploration advances rapidly, using lunar and Martian caves to build habitats will become a crucial starting point for humanity's exploration of the cosmos and expansion of living space, ushering in a new era of extraterrestrial civilization, Xie said. The transformation of the Yuyang cave system into a secret lunar lab is an ambitious and multifaceted project that involves cutting-edge technology, engineering, and scientific expertise. 
Here are some key insights and developments regarding this fascinating endeavor. 1. Engineering and Infrastructure The first step in transforming the cave system involves reinforcing the existing rock formations to ensure structural integrity. This includes using advanced materials and techniques to stabilize the cave walls and ceilings. Creating a controlled microclimate is crucial. Advanced HVAC systems will be installed to regulate temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure, simulating lunar conditions as accurately as possible. Developing efficient transportation within the cave system is essential. This includes building rail systems, elevators, and walkways to navigate the extensive network of tunnels and chambers. 2. Lunar Simulation Utilizing advanced technology, such as centrifuges and magnetic levitation systems, to simulate low gravity. This will allow for realistic training and experiments. Creating a low-pressure environment with a composition similar to the lunar atmosphere, which is primarily composed of helium and argon. Using 3D modeling and construction techniques to create lunar-like terrain within the cave, including simulated craters, regolith, and rocky landscapes. 3. Scientific research. Conducting long-term studies on the effects of low gravity on human health, including bone density, muscle strength, and cardiovascular function. Investigating how plants can be grown in low-gravity environments, which is crucial for sustainable lunar habitation. Developing materials and technologies that can withstand the harsh conditions of the moon, such as radiation-resistant alloys and advanced insulation. 4. Astronaut training. Creating realistic mission simulations that allow astronauts to practice various tasks, such as spacewalks, equipment deployment, and emergency procedures. Developing programs to help astronauts cope with the psychological challenges of living in confined, isolated environments, similar to those on the moon. Setting up emergency response systems and training protocols to ensure the safety of all personnel within the cave lab. 5. Technological Breakthroughs Deploying robotic systems to assist with maintenance and research tasks, reducing the need for human intervention in hazardous areas. Utilizing high-precision sensors to monitor environmental conditions and detect any anomalies in real time. Implementing advanced data analytics to process and interpret vast amounts of scientific data collected during experiments and training sessions. 6. Security and Confidentiality implementing strict access control measures to ensure that only authorized personnel can enter the cave system, installing sophisticated surveillance systems to monitor activity within the facility and ensure security, using advanced data encryption techniques to protect sensitive research data and communications. Major breakthroughs and plans. A pilot project has already begun focusing on the initial setup and testing of key systems within a smaller section of the cave. Partnerships with leading space agencies, research institutions, and private companies are being established to share resources and expertise. Securing substantial funding from government agencies and private investors to support the ongoing development and expansion of the Lunar Lab. The Yuyang Cave System, with its vast and stable environment, offers a unique and invaluable resource for preparing for future lunar missions. Its potential to simulate lunar conditions and support comprehensive research and training makes it a cornerstone in advancing space exploration and human space habitation. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's space development and advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.